Oh my. Yeah, ma'am, you might want to get off the red. Yeah, are you okay, ma'am? Yeah, okay. Uh, hey, what's up? Oh my good Whoa. Yeah, don't take this like the wrong way, but you're a little uh scary looking. Oh my, oh my. She's crazy, man. Run, drive, just drive, go, dude, go. Yo, I'm trying to help you. This isn't a way to say thanks. You're not being very nice. Oh, yeah, that was sneaky. Yeah, blue haired lady, help. Are you guys good? You okay? Yeah, no, this, this crazy lady with a hammer is chasing me. She said help her, and so I got out, but she's chasing me. No, no, I, I want to make sure she's okay, but, like, I think she might have some brain damage. I, I mean, if she's, like, chasing you with a hammer, might be the best thing to do is to stay away from her. I, I mean, mean, I guess. She was walking I, down the middle of the street. I'm just worried about her, you know? I, I mean... I mean, if she wants to walk in the middle of the street, then, I mean, like, I guess let her walk in the middle of the street, but there's, like, nothing much else that we could do. Dick. Yeah, I, mean, I guess. If you're really concerned about her, I would call the police to see if they could check her up. If she's, you know, I don't know. There's a okay. psychologist. No, that's a good idea. Ah! What the heck, man? Yo! Oh, man! What the heck, man? Ah, he's running over me. Oh, what an asshole. Oh, man. Stop it, man. Oh, man. Oh, I better right? put that away. Uh, I'm bleeding a little bit. Do you have any bandages? Uh, yeah, I have some bandages. Uh, hop in. I'll grab you. I'll you okay, time. thanks. I'll just leave my delivery truck here. Yeah, I think I'm blacking out. Yeah, hey there. Hey, hey. I'm Sam. Oh, hi, Sam. I'm Mutton Chops. Nice to meet you, Mutton Chops. Is that a clothespin in your mouth? Oh, yes, it's gone cigar. now. Oh, okay pretty fancy yeah so i'm down here because i had an encounter with a lady in a black dress oh. and she she was chasing me with a hammer up in Polito. well it's been a couple days and i'm kind of losing sleep over it i need to talk to her again so i'm wondering you if don't... any of y'all have any info on her because i'd really like to meet her again you should not meet her again well I'll tell you what, officer. I'm going to tell you my secret. Because you look trustworthy and that cigar is real fancy. Well, thank okay. you. Okay. So, okay. my secret is that I think... I think that she is Phantom Lady. And she's trying to tell me because my name... So, I told you my name was Sam, right? But like my my nickname's Anvil. Everybody calls me that since I was a little kid, because that's like the sound my head makes when I hit it on stuff or something. But my nickname's Anvil, and she chased me with a hammer. And I think it's a sign that she's trying to show me my fortune. So that's why I'm telling you this secret, because I haven't told too many people, because I don't want anyone to know. But I think if I can talk to her again, she'll show me my fortune, my life's fortune. So that's uh, why, officer. We we know of her, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that that is not what she was going to do. Or she might tell you her tell you your fortune as she's bashing you in. Okay. So, and I don't mean uh, like death by snoo snoo. I mean like legitimately like bashed in. Like with the hammer. Yeah. I mean, she was trying, but I run faster than her because she's got that dress on. That's why I wasn't too worried. You really um, think she's dangerous? Yes, I, I think that if you see her again and see anything going weird about it or anything like that, call 911. And don't wait for a fortune to be given to you. Um, That's like 
that's like watching them those movies where they're in a scary haunted house and the lights turn off and the guys instead of trying to turn it back on or leaving the house they just go farther in that's exactly what you were just doing yeah but you know what they don't the make movies, movies about they don't make movies about the nine out of ten times they go further in and they find a treasure they only make movies about the one time out of ten where they get killed by a monster that's well, what i think maybe one out of ten times you'll get treasure and the other times you'll just get killed but is it worth it though officer mutton chops is it worth it a one in ten chance that you might get a fortune told to you no 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 a fortune like money like my life's fortune like i'd be set for life like millions of dollars oh you meant like that yeah because if she's a phantom she might know where buried treasure is that's how that works here's my suggestion i don't think okay. that she's gonna you know provide that to you however if you do see a rainbow uh go chase after the end of the rainbow no last time i did that my car wound up in the ocean and i had to get a toad thank you though i'm yeah, gonna i'm gonna one. stick yeah okay well you know um it looks like i'm not gonna convince you to give me any information on her so i guess i'll just keep up my hunt independently but i appreciate your concern officer you know Sir, you should you should you should stop no don't hunt for her i have to see for myself I have did to. anyone ever you do don't the understand whole, like, officer i the cat? I couldn't sleep last night, officer. I can't stop thinking about her. And it's not because she was pretty. She's kind of gross, if I'm honest. But I couldn't stop thinking about her. Like, it's getting to be an obsession. And I think my sanity is more valuable than the, the one in ten chance that she hits me with a hammer. But but your, your sanity would just get worse if you keep going. You know what Unless I'm saying? I like, find her. If you find her, you die. So I guess your insanity, your sanity is going to be. No, fine. no, I'm not going to die. You're for, you're, you're going to be read your fortune and your fortune will say imminent death. Sounds like you're trying to read my fortune right now and tell me what's going to happen. I mean, you know, my fortune, me giving you a fortune is about as useful as the fortune cookies at a Chinese restaurant. I can accept that. You know, I think instead of calling you Officer Mutton Chops, they should call you Officer Worry Wart. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I've got all kinds of respect for y'all. And like, even if I was hypothetically doing crime and stuff, I would never hurt a police officer. But that said, I'm not necessarily going to take financial counsel from one. And I think that the Phantom Lady is definitely going to give me a lot of money. So... Uh, all I ask is that you make sure that your burial plot is taken care of uh, before you go after her. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds like reasonable advice. And, Thank and you. A, and have a will for anyone that needs to, you know, be written in your will. Uh, yeah, uh, I filled that out when I was 16. Okay. And you know what? That was very forward thinking. Good job. Good yeah, job. I'm a surfer, dude. I like swimming with the sharks and stuff gotta think ahead all right well officer mutton chops it's been a pleasure speaking with you you stay safe out there and uh yeah your ID? my id yeah like i want to remember you oh um like my driver's license i mean that'll work for now but but i mean as long as it's yours Uh, okay, that's not mine. That's my okay, that one's mine. Hold on, do you have other people's stuff in your pocket? Yeah, I rented a motel room and there was like a ton of it in the TV shelf. You should probably get rid of those or turn those in. Oh, is there like a cash reward for that? No, um, but when you let's say you allegedly do something like a crime, yeah, and then you get arrested and they search you and they see a bunch of other IDs, they're going to think that you've possibly been robbing a lot of people. Oh, no way. No, I wouldn't rob somebody. Money's I not mean, that important can... to me. I mean, it is when it comes to the Phantom Lady, but otherwise, like, I'm just trying to live the good life. You can say that. It's just it's it's just if you get arrested for committing any type of crime that 
you know, maybe violent or anything like that, and we find a bunch of IDs on you, they're going to take you to an interrogation room and ask you a bunch of questions. You don't want that, do you? Yeah, officer. Do I seem violent to you? Or that's prone not, to excitability? Gonna, that's not exactly what I'm what I'm saying here. Okay. Right now you seem fine. But yeah. I'm just advising you to save you a lot of trouble. Don't have those other IDs on you. Okay. So can I give them to you? Yes. Okay, hi, um let me see here. I got like a driver's license for Billy Beans. There's someone really named Billy Beans. I guess. He's got a driver's license. Yes, Do you I'll see take it? That. Okay. Do I just drop it on the ground or what? Um yeah, drop it on the ground. Okay. I got an old prescription for ibuprofen. Well, it's an old prescription. I mean, that's that's fine. Okay, you sure you don't want it? Like, if I'm involved in a violent crime, I won't get in trouble, will I? It's an old prescription, so it's not valid anyways. Okay, all right, sounds good. Okay, thanks so much, officer. I'm oh, gonna thank dip. You. This has been uh, this has been eventful. Please don't chase after the lady. Well, it's a free country, you know. Maybe I'll see you out there. We'll both race to the treasure. I'll get there first. And then well may the best man win sounds like a plan <laughs> i'm gonna get back in my stolen car <laughs> i'm gonna drive away <laughs> oh my goodness yeah dude Yeah, is there an officer on duty? Shoot, I think I just missed one. Yeah, officer. Yeah, I'm just looking for an officer to talk to. So I was talking, so, okay, let me, let me go back a little bit. So the other day I was up here in Hippolito and it was night time. And there was a lady in the middle of the road with a big black dress, and she was like, help me, help me. And so I got out, and then she was, like, chasing me with a hammer. So okay. it kind of stuck with me, you know, this phantom lady, and uh, I kind of want to see her again. Like, it's kind of getting to be a bit of an obsession, if I'm quite honest with you. And so I'm just... I figured the police might have info on her and if maybe she's been arrested or if y'all know her hangouts, I might be able to go see her again. Okay, so run that by me again. From the beginning, you saw a lady in a black dress? Yeah, a phantom lady in this big ballroom dress, like black. She's walking down the road and she had this ghoulish face. That's why I call her a phantom lady. Mm -hmm. And then she was saying, help me. And I got out and she was like, chasing me with a hammer but i was faster than her because she's got that big dress on so i wasn't too worried yeah yeah okay you haven't heard anything about that uh you know not not that i can recall off the top of my head um I may okay to talk to some of the officers to see if they've heard anything about that do you, you didn't get her name or anything or she, she didn't no she, she ran here, off and or... i got hit by a local and somebody had to take me to the hospital so I didn't get to see her and then when I came back because she was at the meat packing facility over there when I came back she was gone and I've been thinking about her ever since I think she's gonna show me my life's fortune because she was chasing her, me with a hammer if I were you if she was chasing me yeah I wouldn't go anywhere near her if I were you maybe what's your uh, can, I, can I get your name Oh, my name's Sam Anderson, but a lot of people call me Anvil because that's like the sound my head makes when you hit it with stuff, I guess. But like, <laughs> okay. I figured it was poetic because like my nickname's Anvil and she's chasing me with a, ha a hammer and she's like a phantom lady. So maybe she's like going to show me where there's buried treasure or something. Slightly poetic, you know, I could, I could see, I could see that. But, so I was talking um, to the officers I... down in the city. At, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then Officer Mutton Chops. So yeah, get, sure. Um, if I do hear anything about it, I'll let you know. You know? Uh, totally. I would love that. 
there's my contact details i was talking to officer mutton chops down in the city and he was he was trying to discourage me like you were saying i might you know get hurt but honestly i just gotta know you know i had trouble sleeping last night because of it and it's like you know i just gotta see her one more time and ask her you know yeah, yeah. so what's uh, your I'm name sorry. officer uh detective maximus maximus nice to meet you Sir, yeah, I got you my, my details too here. Yeah, okay, thank you. I got loads of respect for the police, man. Like, even if I were to hypothetically commit a crime, I'm always gonna watch that and make sure I don't hurt any of y'all. That's just the way well, I roll. Yeah. yeah. Well, to keep yourself safe, I wouldn't I wouldn't try to actively look for her if I were you, but, uh... I'll be honest, it's all I'm doing, do but... <laughs> I think she um, means well. Go, be safe, but if you need any help, uh, call 911, okay? Of course, man. Yeah, you have a great evening, officer. Yeah, yes, sir, you too. Alright, bye bye. <laughs>